Hey and welcome, Miss Kira Speaks. Before we get started, I ask that you watch the videos till the end, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Hey, my good people, how you been? I'm here with another one of my watch lists. As you know, my watch list consists of TV, streaming, and film. Old, new, and in between. Some I've watched before and some I'm currently watching. I will give you my mostly spoiler-free breakdown of two or more shows with some additional recommendations. I just want to say welcome to any newcomers. I hope that you'll subscribe, share with a friend, and return for future content. To my subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. We are going to go a little bit back to the old format of doing things. Um, I was watching some of my older videos and while they weren't that great, I've gotten so wrapped up in overly editing, editing these videos. And so I'm going to try to, you know, not do that as much, giving you guys a little update. Um, for those that watched my previous watch list, Beast, which was on my August release list, um, it's now available for you to watch on Peacock if you missed it, like your girl. Um, and when I have updates, I'll either try to give it to you either in another video or I will pin the comments in that video. Just, I like to keep you guys updated. But tonight, I want to talk to you about some dramas and some thrillers. First up, we have Echoes. This drama miniseries is on Netflix. It's rated TVMA and it released this August. It's one season of seven episodes and they're about 40 to 50 minutes each in runtime. Identical twins, Lenny and Gina, have secretly switched places for years. But when one sister disappears, both of their lives start to fall apart. And that is our brief Netflix description. So this one was executive produced by Brian Yorkey, who is the creator of 13 Reasons Why, and Quentin Peoples, who is best known for Iron Fist, both you can find on Netflix. It stars Michelle Moynihan as both Lenny and Gina. Child, and I don't know how she did it. One is a good old country girl with a little twang, and the other one is a city girl, and they're living two totally different lives. It also stars Daniel Sanjata, who you may recently know as Mecca from Power Book 2 Ghosts, Matt Bomer, and Karen Robinson, who is the nosy town sheriff. It had some twists and some turns and some flashbacks, which I enjoyed. Death, childhood trauma, and more. And I believe this one was recommended to me by Karen, so Thank you, Karen. I recommend that you watch this one and let me know how you feel about that ending. Next up, we have Surface. It's our psychological thriller on Apple TV. It released in July of this year. It's rated TVMA, has one season, eight episodes, around 45 minutes each in runtime. After suffering a traumatic head injury that leaves her with serious memory loss issues, Sophia embarks on a quest to piece her life back together. However, she realizes that the people who are helping her may not have her best interests in mind. Now, the trailer for this one was awesome. Honestly, that's what drew me in and got me to watch. It's from the executive producers of Big Little Lies and Little Fires Everywhere and the director of I May Destroy You. Um, it's set in San Francisco and it stars Gugu Mbatha Raw. I hope I pronounced your name right, sis, who also starred in The Girl Before as Sophie. We have Oliver, Jackson Cohen, Stephen James, and Marianne Jean-Baptiste, who worked my nerves this season. Now, I became invested in this one because you didn't know who you could trust. Had me talking to the TV several times. <laughs> Both this one and Echoes, I think I watched in two days. Now, Apple was doing these, I think, as weekly releases, but by the time I had got to it, the season had wrapped, and like I said, two days, banged out, I think, four and four and your girl was done 
To me, it was that good. They are currently campaigning for a season two on Twitter, and I don't think I would mind a season two. I'm curious to see where the second season might lead us. There were a few things that were definitely left unanswered. My only worry is sometimes when they give us things that are more than one season, well, you know what I mean. Anywho, I suggest you watch this one and come back and please share your thoughts. Last up is Reasonable Doubt, our drama on Hulu that released at the end of September. It's rated TVMA. We are on season one and currently on episode five. I think it's due to have nine episodes for this season and it's a little under an hour in runtime. So Jack Stewart is known to be the most brilliant and fearless defense attorney in Los Angeles who bucks the justice system at every chance she gets. She is judged for her questionable ethics and wild interpretations of the law until she's needed. Now, like Aftershock, which was on my previous watch list, this one is also under Onyx Collective, created by Ramallah Muhammad, who is known for Little Fires Everywhere and Scandal. Kerry Washington and Larry Wilmore are also EPs on this project. It stars Emma Yatsi, we're gonna say C, cause the first name was hard enough. McKinley Freeman, who recently played in Our Kind of People, and Michael Ealy, please don't kill another show, Mr. Michael Ealy, okay? And we also have Sean Patrick Thomas and the Pauletta Washington. The lead actress, Jax, sis, she's a little problematic, but a beautiful chocolate sister, okay? She's giving you sass, she's giving you boss, she's giving you take charge, all of the things, like I said, a little problematic. You have to watch to see what I mean by that. But I love the music, I love the wardrobe, and if you hadn't noticed, the title, Reasonable Doubt, is also the title of Jay-Z's debut album. And the episode titles are all Jay-Z songs. Now, they're not all on Reasonable Doubt, but they're all Jay-Z songs, and that's just a little something that I noticed as you know, a New Yorker and you know, a hip hop fan. Some of the stuff had me talking to the screen. And some of the stuff I really enjoyed. Nonetheless, it is really keeping me interested and I think that you could get into this one and try to figure out who exactly did what. If you are looking for more dramas and thrillers, check out Tell Me Your Secrets. It follows a trio of characters each with a mysterious and troubling past. A young woman who once looked into the eyes of a dangerous killer, a former serial predator desperate to find redemption, and a grieving mother obsessed with finding her missing daughter. <laughs> As each of them is pushed to the edge, the truth about their past and motives grow murkier blurring the lines between a victim and perpetrator. This thriller was released in 2021 and is available on Prime Video. And also check out Behind Her Eyes. A single mother enters the world of twisted mind games when she begins an affair with her psychiatrist boss while secretly befriending his mysterious wife. Another thriller, also released in 2021, and it's available now on Netflix. These are a few that I really did enjoy, so if I do decide to go back and review any of them, I'll add some cards up top if you're watching this later, or if you're watching this now, and you know, just come back and check out my playlist. Are you guys watching any good dramas or thrillers that you think I might like? feel free to drop that down below in the comment section. No October releases this month, guys. I think I did mention that last month during my September release video. Instead, I'm gonna give you something a little more fitting. Get down in the comments and let me know if you've seen these and what you thought, and you can also let me know about my recommendations or just let me know that you stopped by. Hang in there with me guys. In the meantime, if you are looking for more, please check out some of my other watch lists or content. Keep those notifications on and I will see you in the next one. Peace.